Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to this tutorial for Divi Machine. Today I'm going to go through advanced custom field, how it's integrated in with Divi Machine, how it's different to Divi, I guess. Um, so, by default with Divi, you can use advanced custom fields, but it's very limited. So I'm just going to edit this, um, this theme builder, this uh, single page. I'm just going to remove all that. Okay, so let me just... I, I, me, I prefer to use this block builder, but um, I know a lot of people like to use visual. Okay, so let's say you want to have a page, you know, page title, or you want to have an image with it. With Divi, you can, you can do this. If you go for like a text module, for example, in here you can, you know, go for a di uh, an advanced custom field, so you can say the number of doors. Okay, then you could say doors doors that, that that didn't work did it um so this is divvy so you can you know you can do things but i haven't looked too much into this because uh, i believe that our, our solution is better so that's how you can do it divvy and but you are limited with us we actually have modules specifically for advanced custom fields. So for example, uh, let's say you want to add the number of doors. Here you can go to advanced custom field item module. In here the repeater custom label, that's got to do with when you're using the repeater module. So you don't have to worry about that for now. Here you select your advanced custom fields. You can see what we've done is we have ordered its you know doors and then it gives you the, the name of the advanced custom field and if it's a child it'll give you the parents as well so let's go to doors for example and this will show you the doors and then the the number so you can not show label you can show the label you can do a custom label how many you know how many but I'm just gonna leave it off you can also do prefix so um, this is usually if you have like a number, so you can, um, you know, if you've got a number, prefix, text before. So the specific settings, this is like if you have an image file or link, it'll, it'll get you the return format that you choose in the advanced custom field settings. If it's a file, you can choose a button, which I'll show you in a minute. And if it's a URL, you can remove the website link name. So this is if you want to have like social media links for example but I'll show you that again as well a bit later and some other settings here you can also you know choose an icon or an image to put before so I'm just going to choose this image of here you know I can just do 30 pixels the size of the image um, and then you can even go a bit further and you can customize you know the font size the line height color and make it bold as well but yeah anyway so you can you can really make it really interesting so well I actually did sorry I, I told you that's kind of the wrong one maybe this is doors isn't it there we go so now now the customer knows okay it's doors and it's four so that's one way you can do that another one uh, let's just see so the way our modules work is it pulls in the information from the first um, from the first uh what's it called so it pulls in information from the from the first uh like custom post that you have so um so there'll be the first car on the list so if you don't see any information it might be because you haven't filled in all the information on the car what i mean by that let me just save this and i'll show you in a minute what i mean by that is if you go to your car my first car would be i think this audi a5 so you can see here here's all the advanced custom fields that I have and you can see the number of doors are four um, over here I can see okay I have a link to Facebook that's fine and I have a brochure so that's fine as well okay so let's go back into our our page and now I want to show you the 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 file so let's say you have a brochure to download 
here you can in your new advanced custom field item you can choose your brochure uh, I'm going to remove that label so at, by default it will just be a link in the specific settings you can make it into a button and then over here you can customize the button and you can make uh, you know rounded borders and so on so that's another one uh, oh, this is why this is why I don't like about the visual builder anyway now the advanced custom field uh, you can do a link so let's go Facebook and you can see it's got like that what you can do is you can go no sh don't show label hide the website name and then you can just choose an icon or an image like this I mean it'll be a Facebook you Facebook icon or you can use you use icon and then therefore it'll just link directly to the link then we also customize things a bit further and we uh, we have other modules like uh, the uh, the gallery and the gallery is another advanced custom field here we can choose the different type of gallery so I want it to be a slider um, and I do go through this on another video so I'm just gonna you know if you follow our tutorial series you'll see how this actually works but I just want to show you here so here I can just choose okay the gallery name oh actually this is the pro so I want to just go for the not the pro version because I'm not using the pro oh that's not right where's gallery gallery and then image and then there we go it pulls up a nice gallery slider here in the slider settings you can also you know do the gap of like 10 pixels for example so that's another module which you know with Divi you can't you can't just use I think it's just a bit of an issue here with the visual builder but it's not a big problem because it won't render like that um, so here we can see that let me just push this into two columns So here we can see the um, how you can use our other modules to 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 really you know take things further because with Divi you wouldn't be able to use, show gallery with the advanced custom fields. Likewise, there's other things like the the slider, the repeater. The repeater is a really cool one. The repeater allows you to it's not visual builder compatible yet, but uh, what it does is it allows you to repeat advanced custom field so let's say you have a button or let's say you have this number of doors and you want number of you know number of doors number of seats uh, number of wheels I don't know <laughs> I don't think it was or you do have three wheel cars then you could repeat this and then in the repeater module you actually have grid options so you can say I want to show a grid of three on desktop grid of three on tablets and a grid of three on mobile for example and then you would get each of these ones would show one two three and then you can choose the grid, so you can make it four, one, two, three, four. So it's really nice for you to display these advanced custom fields in a repeater. As well, it also works with the pro the, the pro repeater module. So this is just like an overview or uh, of, um, of the advanced custom fields. The thumbnail is another another nice one. So with Divi, you could on the custom loop layout. So please check out our documentation. Uh, with the thumbnail, do you can get a, a thumbnail, but then we take things a bit further and we allow you to link it to the single page and have a flip image if you want. So the flip image allows you to have an, another image and when you hover over it flips over. You can see that in our in our team members uh, layout pack that we have for you and, and demo that, that you can download. Okay, so that's a, just an overview of the advanced custom fields. We hope this is helpful to help you understand that we take things a bit, a bit further. This is a video at the start of of the of launch, and as we go on, we're going to be adding more, more and more ways to customize advanced custom field and and add more and more um, advanced settings and mechanics. So, yep, yeah, hope you have a great day, and uh, we'll we'll see you soon.